guys, welcome to another mystery evening here in the off-grid garage. As you can see here from the screen recording, the east roof here to the right has 28 volts and the west roof 62. Is the sky so much brighter over here than over here? The sun will go down. Oh, the sun has gone down already. It's after dusk, but you can see the voltage spread is insane. 60.6 volts. We are still charging with 7 watts from the west roof here. Okay, let's give it another couple of minutes. And then we check on the voltages again. I think we've got another mystery evening ahead of us. Boohoo! <laughs> It is still not 100% dark. We just had dinner. And let's check on the installation again. Just turn on the screen recorder here. And what can we see? We are even charging. Well guys, when you thought the last video was mysterious, when I showed you the volts, in today's video, I will show you the amps. Yeah, exactly. We are still charging with 11 watts. There you can see it. And the most curious thing is the voltage, the voltage of the incoming solar is only 34 volts, but our battery voltage is 53. So obviously, Victron has sold me a boost solar charge controller which can handle lower voltage input on the solar and boost this up to a higher voltage for the battery. That's exactly what we have, right? Yeah, guys, welcome back to the mystery. Yeah, guys, welcome back to the mystery garage in Pitch Black, Australia. Uh, I could hear that too. Well, here are two solar charge controllers. And you can also see this one is on standby. It flashes only here and there. While this one is still charging in bulk. Okay, let me just turn off all the loads. What I have connected to our battery here. And we will have another look on the solar charge controller and see if we can actually charge the battery. Oh, I've destroyed it. Zero volts. Really? The charging has finished when I disconnected our load. What is going on? Hey guys, I'm still speechless. What is happening here? Um, we just had dinner inside and I had the Victron VIM running for the time and did this time lapse here and I could see the voltage on the east roof went down from like 17 down to zero and the voltage on the west roof maintained at like 35 40 volts all the time and I could see the charging current flowing 200 300 milliamps all the time it was charging with up to 11 watts into the battery with a lower voltage. How can this happen? Unfortunately, when I turned off the load here, the whole show stopped. So I'm not sure what is actually happening here, but we have to try again tomorrow to see what is going on. I want to see if I can measure really a charge current. Something is clearly going on with this solar charge controller here. And now we can also see here, we've got the standby light is flickering from time to time and we've got the same over here see this is only standby LED lights well before this one was still charging in bulk mode so something is going on with this solar charge controller <laughs> or my solar on the roof I don't know okay this would be 
continued tomorrow. And then I'm not turning off the load. We are trying to measure the actual amps going from the solar charge controller into the battery with our Victron Boost solar charge controller. That'll be interesting. Okay, see you tomorrow. Ah, it is not charging. Damn it, still got 44 volts <laughs> on the solar. Well guys, this is now day number three after I discovered that my solar charge controllers actually are boost controllers and could charge from a lower solar voltage, my higher voltage battery. Um, but this situation did not occur anymore. I checked every night at about seven o'clock when the sun goes down and the other solar charge controller is actually at about 20 volts or something. Yeah, 20.5. And my west roof is still on 44, but it doesn't charge. Well, anyway, we have seen it three days ago when this charge controller charged until about eight o'clock until I took the load away and then it stopped charging. It still charged with five to 11 watts, but I didn't have the chance to measure actually any currents here. That was the main purpose of the last three days, last three evenings to find the same situation again and then measure uh, current flowing. So I cannot really prove it that there was current flowing. Um, well, anyway, guys, I think <laughs> I have found what is causing the problem. So, yeah, let's turn on the screen recorder. So we are now on in the west roof. So we go into the settings here in the top right hand corner. And I go to these uh, three dots in the top right hand corner and go to product info. And this gives you all the information, the name of the solar charge controller, zero number, uh, your custom name, the firmware. Uh, the bootloader and here down here it says also the um, Bluetooth interface. This is all up to date. You can see it always says the latest version. And also when we connected this one for the first time, it, um, it prompted us to update the firmware. This was when we tested the AO Lithium battery BMS. And this was the first time I've set up this solar charge controller on any battery here. And it came immediately up as soon as you connect your Victron Connect app, it immediately comes up with the um, so, um, firmware update for the device. And this is what I've experienced with all the devices. As soon as you connect for the very first time, there is usually a new firm, firmware version, software version available. This solar charge controller was no exception to that. And here you can see it says the latest version, right? But, okay, so. But if we go into the remote console and we rotate our screen, there we go, remote console. And then we go into the menu. We've got this exclamation mark up there in the taskbar, flashing all the time. So we go into notifications and have a look what the notification is. And this actually, and this actually told me and this actually told me what is wrong with the whole setup. And you can see here it says West Roof warning. Hashtag 66 incompatible device. Something is not right with the device. And we know that because we measured the high voltage and still measure it. So let's go back into our normal VIM. Go to the menu and go to device list. This gives us all the devices we have connected or had connected to our system here. Gateway is the Raspi, Smart Shunt, East Roof, West Roof, and the Inverter, which is not connected since 19 days. Holy shit. Three weeks, and everything seems to be fine, right? We go into East Roof, firmware version 3.10. West Roof, firmware version 307 so we have a different firmware version. Even the information in the solar charge controller told us it is up to date, is on the latest version. It doesn't give us any options to upgrade. Isn't that crazy? So what you have to do here in the VIM, you go into the, you go into the firmware update option underneath your device list. And this is checking all your 
firmwares against what is actually up to date online. So here we can see again the smart shunt, the solar charge controller east roof and at the bottom the solar charge controller west roof. And here we can see in the list that we have different firmwares on both solar charge controllers. And if we scroll to the right we can actually see there is a newer firmware for the west roof solar charge controller. Even it prompted us like two weeks ago to update the firmware there is an even newer one for available right now, which it doesn't show on the controller itself, but here in the device list it shows. And I only went there because it had this hashtag 66 error in the VRM. And this revealed it. It said there is something wrong with the controller. It is not my solar. There is no induction into the cables or something. So I really want to update the device. But on the other hand, I really want to connect a 12 volt battery to the solar charge controller and see if there's actually a current flowing. Or at least the solar charge controller thinks there's a current flowing. Shall we try that? I think yes. Before we update to the newest firmware, which I'm 100% sure it will fix all the issues, let's connect a 12 volt battery and see if we can measure a charge current. Okay, let's go. So I have now disconnected the solar charge controller from our big battery here and have connected these thin wires here to the Aolithium battery. I used actually a resistor to connect the charge controller. It, it does the same spark as an inverter. They've got huge capacitors inside and it always scares the shit out of me. So I'm always using a resistor with these controllers as well. So let's go into the west roof and see what's going on. It is still connected to our solar. Oh, we have got zero volts. Oh, why is that? Okay. We need to change this to 12 volts anyway here. So, okay. Oh, we don't have any solar voltage anymore. What's going on here? Ah. Uh, okay, let me go up there and see if we can trigger it. Pull all the positives. <laughs> 0 0.3. Come on. Where's the magic here? There's nothing. What the heck is going on here? There's no bolt. There's nothing. Well, this is a total fail, this test. I'm sorry. There's there's no ghost here. There's no paranormal activities. Nothing. It is just zero volts. It is disappointing. I thought this will make a great series here on the channel <laughs> for a while. <laughs> I wonder if this has something to do with the parallel of the inverters here or something. I don't know. Because there's clearly nothing. There's zero volts. Okay, let's reconnect it back to the big battery. Okay, so we are back on the big battery here, but um, well, there's no voltage. 1.3 volts. If we disconnect all the positives again. Yep, there it is again. 44 volts. <laughs> there it is again. Well, I don't know how this works. There it is, 40 volts. And as you have seen in the other video before, this is not something the solar charge controller thinks the voltage is. We can also measure the voltage at the terminals. So there is real 40 volts connected. Yeah, something is going on. Okay, let's do the, uh, I would say let's do the firmware update and see if this fixes the problem. So device list, firmware update. And now we say update device from 307 to 310. That's pretty cool. You can actually see now what's going to happen. Upload firmware to GX device. That's the Raspi. And then preparing firmware update. We're creating settings. And you can also see the lights here on the charge controller having a little disco. And now it's writing the firmware to the device actually. And then it does a checksum, confirming everything. 
and we should be good. Success! Device has been updated. Okay, let's go back in the dashboard. Holy shit, we still can measure the 40 volts. It wasn't the firmware. And that is real time. West roof connecting. We still have the 40 volts on here. What the heck is going on, my friends? Okay, we may have another opportunity in the next couple of days to actually measure a current when it's still charging. This should not be the case, right? This should not be the case. And I don't know exactly. What about if I turn off solar of the east roof? Do we have any? No, and if I pull this one, we obviously have zero then. Yeah, it goes down to a zero. Turning on east roof, nothing happens. And west roof again, one volts. If we have a look at yesterday, there, there you can see it again. Bottom is east roof, goes down to zero at about 10 past, uh, 10 past 7, and the top stays there at 40 volts. There. Goes slowly down until here, 11.30, and then it goes to zero. And you can see from the day before, look at this ripple here. We've got almost one volts on the solar, while on the other one it's 0.1 volts. That is so weird. Okay, and the day before that, look at this, almost the same. No, no, it's different this time. It went actually down to zero at ninth um at 7 30 and then it came back 40 volts 40 volts 40 volts again close to midnight and then it turns off and here the the morning before look at this curve there 37 little peak and it goes further down until here and at five o'clock the voltage is rising anyway I have no idea why this is happening. But obviously it has something to do with the cabling here or so. I don't know. There again. We can see in the morning here, voltage comes down from 40 volts to zero. And then we've got this ripple until the morning at five o'clock. Normal day, charging, charging, charging. And then at 7 p.m. sun goes down, goes to zero on the east roof and west roof stays at around 40 volts. Isn't that bizarre? Guys, I don't, I don't know why this is happening. I have no idea. It can only be something to do with the cabling here or so. I don't know. I mean, we've got these cables down here to the bus bar, to the battery, and there's no power here inside. All this power for the light and my charging stuff is coming from the Blue Eti. So that is strange. Anyway guys, so far this mystery series here from the off -grid garage in sunny hot Australia. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, what causes these 40 volts, which we can actually measure. I thought the firmware update will fix it, but it hasn't. So I'm not sure what's going on. I hope it just goes away once we have finished the cabling and everything is connected correctly. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Thanks for all your generous donations and everyone who has bought me a spat. Thank you very much to the donors. Until the next video guys, stay charged, stay safe and thanks again for watching. See you then, bye bye. Could potentially show you how far I am here, but I don't want to spoil it.